Hello, now to go through some methods to safely dispose of devices, in particular focusing on how to get rid of data securely. So, first of all, talking about destroying data because as soon as you no longer need to use data you've got stored on servers, on hard drives, you should safely destroy it. Okay, so thinking about things stored on this is a hard drive, a magnetic hard drive, this is an SSD using flash memory, these are CDs, not used so much anymore. But the point is you need to make sure these are not just chucked away because they might have important data on which needs to be safely destroyed. And actually this is a requirement from legislation. So the Data Protection Act from 2018 is a law, is legislation, and it says the data should only be kept while it's needed. You shouldn't keep data for longer than is necessary. When you're finished with it, it should be destroyed securely. So you've got a responsibility legally to destroy it properly. And thinking more generally about the actual throwing away of devices eventually, for disposal, we want to ideally avoid sending stuff to landfill. Um, for certain equipment, there are rules for how to dispose of it, which we don't need to go into, but there are bits of um, guidance and legislation like w WEEE, which uh, stands for Waste, Electronic and Electrical Equipment. Don't learn that, um, but this is a directive from the European Union giving guidance on how to responsibly dispose of computer equipment because too much of it gets shipped to um, less affluent countries where it's chucked on landfill and is just left there. Ideally it should be recycled and um, it's the job of a company to follow all the guidance. So I think DPA uh, is more important than WEEE um, but it's worth having uh, in your in your brain if you need it. Now to focus on destroying data because if you are just throwing out old hard drives or old SSDs that's really silly because they can be recovered by attackers even if you press delete on your computer even if you delete it from the recycle bin you can still recover the data and people will hang around skips outside big companies hoping somebody's thrown away a complete hard drive or a complete computer so the data can be harvested and stolen. So if you don't need to use the device again, the most simple way to, to ensure it's permanently deleted is to physically destroy it. So if you get a hammer and smash up the device, that will ensure it can't be recovered. And in hard disks and in CDs, the disk is what's important. In SSDs, just any of it to smash up would be important. Um, I will say hard disks are the problem here because data can get retained for a long time. Something like a, uh, an SSD is less of a problem. Um, we are really focusing on hard drives here, to be honest. But destruction is not the most elegant solution. You could also sh shred it uh, using a massive industrial shredder, like a wood chipper almost, but again, not very elegant. So if you want to reuse the disk again, you could use what we call electromagnetic wiping. What this does is reset the magnetism in hard disks. So a hard disk works by having lots of you can think of it like little magnets represent the binary and so if you can apply a more powerful magnet to it you can really break that magnetism and reset it. So this device is called a degausser. The degausser will have a big big magnet inside which can cause the magnetism to break. So on the left is a picture under a microscope of the hard disk when it is programmed with the data Degaussing really ruins this magnetism, and so it gets really random, it cannot be read. Now, it depends on what degausser you're using and how you're doing this process. This process may break the device, it might become unusable, but in many cases, because it's not physically destroying it, you can reuse the device afterwards. So I think if you want to reuse the device afterwards, you can suggest electromagnetic wiping. But there is a third option. The third option is overwriting which is arguably the most simple of the three. A degausser can be very, very expensive to buy. Overwriting is where you write fresh data over the data that is to be deleted. So if you wanna make sure your old data goes, you can overwrite several times. So it can be um, a few, it could be five times, it could be 10 times, it could be 100 times, it could be even more than that. The point is, if you are overwriting, you are removing any remnants, any trace of the original data. And with overwriting, you can reuse the hard drive um, again and again. 
So if we want to delete, you know, it's all in binary. If we want to delete part of your hard drive, all you need to do is make sure random data is overwritten in its place so that the original is lost. This is meaningless, but it does ensure that you can't recover the original data if you overwrite enough times. So overwriting, you definitely can reuse it. Electromagnetic wiping, you probably can reuse it. Physical destruction, you definitely can't because it is broken completely. So um, thank you for watching. If you've managed to watch this entire playlist, that's a, an amazing job. Hopefully it was helpful and best of luck for your exams.